Hey guys, welcome back to Tech War Duo. In this video, we're going to install Audio Station and get some music set up. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is go to your package center, go to Audio Station, and let's click the install button. All right, so that should just take a minute. So what Audio Station is going to do is create a folder in here called music. It's going to create its own shared folder called music. And all we need to do is drag and drop files into that music folder. So we're going to wait for this to finish quickly. All right, guys, so we have Audio Station running. So before we open it, let's go ahead and head to our file station. We can see that there is now a new shared folder here called music. I'm going to go ahead, I opened it up in my explorer here. You can see I have music. I'm going to double click on that. It's empty. I'm just going to drag an album in here. I'm going to paste it. And this is Lil Wayne, the Carter 3. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. We can refresh file station and see that the folder is now there. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. I'm going to do one more thing under control panel. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go to application portal and click on audio station and click edit. And then I'm going to enable customize alias and click OK. All right, so now I'm going to close this. So we can see we can open it from here. And here is our audio station. From here in the top right, you can go to settings and you can adjust your privileges as needed if you have other users here that you want to give access to. And there are a bunch of other advanced settings like music download and so on and DLNA for devices. So if I come down here to all music, we have all of our music here from the entire album. So I click on this, click on the first song, I can hit the play button and it'll start playing for us. But I don't want to play the, uh, unfortunately play the music on YouTube as it is copyrighted, so I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna close this out. So one thing that we can do, since we did enable that alias before, we can type in our IP address for our station here, and then do a forward slash audio. Hit enter, and it's gonna open up the audio station directly. So it's not gonna be in DSM exactly, but it is going to just open up the web browser version kind of of the audio station. It makes it a little bit easier to manage and, and work with and, and just play music. And then, of course, the DS Audio does come with an app. So it is available for Android and for iPhone, as well as, I believe, um, Windows phones, too. So this is a great app. So all you would need to do is put in your quick ID, your username and password, enable HTTPS, and you're logged in. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully this uh, video was informative for you guys. And if you have any questions, leave them below. Like and subscribe and enjoy your day.